Displaying YouTube videos. In this screencast, we'll look at two ways to display YouTube videos in your course. Moodle's Atto Text Editor has a Moodle Media icon, which you can see here, which makes it very simple to display directly in line, that is embed, sound or video files. We're going to embed a YouTube video. The process would be the same if we were to, for example, upload and display in line a recording as an MP3 file. We can embed media anywhere we see this text editor, and so we could do it in the course section summary, but instead, what we are going to do is add it to what Moodle calls a label, some white space which you can add anywhere on your course page. This makes the video, a YouTube video, or a sound file or your own video, display directly when you access the course. However, be aware that if you do this with a lot of media files, it might make your course slower to load and you might prefer to add media to a page resource instead. So with the editing turned on, either by clicking the button top right or the link in the administration block, we then click add an activity or resource to get to the activity chooser. And we scroll down to resources because label is a resource. And when we click to add the label, you can see that it's basically just a box with a text editor and when we click the Moodle Media icon, we then prompted to browse repositories and go to Moodle's file picker, which we've met in a previous video. If we wanted, we could upload a file, such as an MP3 or our own video, or we could find one in our private files or server files. But we are actually going to go and use YouTube and this enables us to search YouTube for a video of our choice, sorting by relevance, dates, rating or view count. I add a search term and then when I click search, Moodle goes to YouTube and tries to find appropriate videos. And when I've chosen the one that I want, I simply click on it and select it. Notice that we've done all this without needing to understand any HTML embedding code. So it's very useful if you're not technical. This is the correct video, so I click the insert button to insert it into the label. Don't worry that you only see a link. Once we save and return to course, the video will appear embedded. And if it doesn't, it's worth checking that you have your filters enabled, something which we'll look at in a separate video. And there it is, a YouTube video embedded in a label on our course page. However, if you already have the link of your YouTube video, another way to display it is simply to paste that link, that URL, into the editor. Here, for instance, I've gone to YouTube and found the video that I want. So I click the share link to get its URL and then I paste it in. And again, as long as the appropriate filters are enabled, once I've saved the page, this link will display as an embedded video.